car got a hiccup. <laughs> Try steering with both hands, but you don't rush it from the bike. Yeah, now the car's yeah. fighting back. Welcome to another video. So we're here in the presence of a known content creator, a famous YouTuber, Instagrammer, TikToker, and also a world-renowned motorbiker. So, so Billy, tell the viewers. Um, obviously, you came for a mock test, but um, you've really—I uh, couldn't give you automatic automatic uh, driving mock test. So we're going to start lessons in a manual. Why for manual or girl or girl? Like, have you drove manual before? Yes, slightly, but obviously I can't really say that like, it was illegal. Oh, so illegal? It's still okay. At least you've drove. Do you get it? I say yeah. I always say illegal drivers are the best. Do you get it? Only joking. <laughs> <laughs> I believe you for a second. Still. So um, I'm just gonna go over a few things. Um, so there's three pedals. What are them three pedals? This one is to get started, isn't it? Yeah. You push it all the way down. You, you twist the key. This is obviously to move and this is braking it. Okay, so the three pedals are from starting from right to left is the accelerator, brake and clutch. Do you get it? So the accelerator makes gives uh, makes the car to go move, faster. It? Yeah. It's not move. Oh, it, it's not move. That's because it helps the car it helps the car pick speed. Moving is the clutch. Do you get it? Oh, yeah. So the clutch does that part. So the accelerator is to, is to make the car go faster. Mm -hmm. The brakes obviously slows the car down, brings it to a stop. What do you think the clutch is used for? That's to actually start it. Like you push it all the way down and then the car moves. Yeah. So there's three occasions the clutch is used for. The first one is to move the car off. Do you get it? So to move the car off, the clutch is used. To change the gear. Yeah, well done. You got the second one right. Uh, changing gears. The third occasion the clutch is used for is um, when you come into a full stop. You put your when clutch you come in. To a full stop and put a clutch in. Yep, you put yeah. your clutch in. So three occasions when you're moving off the car. Off the car. Yep. The second occasion is gear. changing gears, and the third one is when you are stopping the car fully. Yeah. Yeah. So there's a point in the clutch where it's called the. Hmm? There's a point in the clutch where it's called the. Fill the gaps. You said it. Before. Biting point. Biting point, the biting yeah. point, yeah, so yeah, yeah. Clutch, Suarez, Suarez. yeah. So biting point. The definition of the biting point is when the clutch starts to engage and it starts to work. So until you don't get to the biting point, nothing's gonna happen to the car. So you need to lift the clutch up to the biting point. That's when the clutch is gonna start to engage and it's gonna start to work. So from the biting point, that's where the car gets power to move forward from. So once you've got to the biting point, that's how you know that that's uh, that's when the car gets power to move forward from. But you need help from what? Me. The accelerator. Yeah, that, yeah, 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 yeah. That's what yeah. I meant. That's what I meant. Yeah. Obviously, acceleration, accelerate. Yeah. yeah. So obviously, the car gets power to move forward from the clutch, but you need help from the gas. Do you get that? So I'm gonna make you do a few move offs and stops. Uh, I'll talk you through them and then after that let's see how it goes um, the way you can find out you've got to the biting point is there's two ways you can find out you've got to the biting point mm -hmm. have you got any idea there's two ways I can find out get to the biting point yeah so there's two ways you can find out you've got to the biting point if it moves no so the first way is um, obviously you're right if it moves then we, well it's not moving you can hear the engine tone getting deeper that's the first way okay. you get it. The second way you can find out you've got to the biting point is the revs will drop. Do you get oh, it? Oh yeah. So yeah, say, yeah, say yeah, for instance yeah, you're yeah. giving gas whilst lifting the clutch up. If you're giving gas and it's on about 2,000 revs, the revs will drop down. Do you understand? Once you've got to the biting point. So there's two ways. The first way is obviously the engine tone will get a little bit deeper. The second way is the revs will drop. Do you get that? Mm. So what we'll do is uh, we'll do a few move offs and stops and see how it goes. Mm. Um, I'll talk you through a couple. Mm. Or do you want to give it a go yourself? Yeah, talk me through it. First time, talk me through it. And then yeah, so I'll, do, I'll talk you through it. Once you feel comfortable or I think you can do it yourself, I'll pass you the responsibility. Um, is that okay? Go. So move off. So clutch in. So you'll put your clutch in. Do you have to stretch for it? Hmm? Do you have to stretch for the clutch? I just don't know. Are you stretching for it? No, not really. Okay, that's fine. So the main thing is make sure you don't have to stretch for Why it. Why is it not going down? Is it not? It should go down. Clutch in. Is it gone? What? Is it down? Yeah. Yeah. So into first. Hmm? So I'll talk you through into first. Into. Oh, put a <laughs> gear into first. Yeah, into first. Yeah, that's fine. So give a bit of gas. Accelerate a little bit. A little bit. Not too much. That's in my fourth clutch. 
Sorry? Should I take my foot off the clutch? No, no, no. So, if you take your foot off the clutch, what do you think will happen to the car? If you lift it up all of a sudden, it'll stall. Oh. Do you get that? So you need to give a little bit of gas. So you should be giving about 2,000 revs. Do you so get that? That's you? Yeah. That's a little bit too much. Yeah, now lift the clutch up to the bite. Clutch a little bit higher. The you get it? That's the biting point. But you want to release it slowly. Put your clutch in and then brake. Brake. I have to put my clutch on before I brake. Sorry? I have to put my clutch in before I brake. I'm going to explain this to you in a bit. Lift the clutch up. Yeah, turn it to right. Turn it a little bit to right. That's fine. That was good. So you did ask me, do I have to put my clutch in first, then break? Yeah. So what you need to remember is if your clutch is not fully up and it's in the middle-ish to the biting point, mm -hmm. that's when you have to put your clutch in first, then break. But if your clutch is up like this now, mm -hmm. you'll break first, then put your clutch in. Say, so say that one more time, sorry? So say for instance, your clutch is, if your clutch is not fully up, mm -hmm. so say for instance, you were moving off and your clutch is not gone fully up, mm -hmm. that's when you'll put your clutch in first, then break. Okay. Do you get that? But what you need to remember is if your clutch is fully up, then you should brake first, then put your clutch in. So we're going to gently stop. So brake a little bit with your right foot and put your clutch in. Clutch in, clutch in fully, clutch in. That's it, and gently stop. That was fine. You get that this way, this time you brake first, then put your clutch in. Yeah, the car stalled because if you lift the clutch up now, what are you telling the car to do? Go. Do you get it? But if the brake's on, if you keep your foot on the brake, what are you telling the car to do? Stop. Stop. So how can it do two things at once? Yeah. Do you understand? So from one side, we're telling the car to go, and the other side, we're telling it to stop. Mm -hmm. So we're going to move off again. So this is what I mean, you know, I'm going to give you an example when you put your clutch in first, then brake. So give a bit of gas, lift the clutch up to the bite. The, so if you want to stop now, you're going to put your clutch in, then brake. I've got it here, clutch in, put your clutch in, and then brake. You get, that's fine, don't worry. <laughs> so what I meant is, say for instance, you lift the clutch up. When you're lifting the clutch up to the bite, and you're not lifting it higher, the car's crawling. Do you get it? So if the clutch's on the biting point, the car's crawling. Do you understand? Yeah. So what you need to remember is, if you lift the clutch up fully and then want to stop, you need to brake first, then put your clutch in. Do you get that? Mm -hmm. Definitely. <laughs> okay, let's see if you can move off. So I'll give a bit of gas. Clutch up to the bike, clutch a little bit higher, dirt, oh, clutch in. What happened there? I'll tell you what happened. So once you get to the bike, you need to release the clutch slowly. Oh. If you let go of it, you're releasing power too quick and the car will stall. Oh. Do you understand? So once you get to the biting point, release it very slowly. So look, there's two ways you can release it. Once you get to the biting point, either you can flick it off, that's one way, flicking it off. The second way is letting the clutch bring your foot up. Which one do you think is right? Letting the clutch bring it forward. Yeah, well done. To let you let the clutch bring your foot up. Not, is the car stopped? Yeah, so put your clutch in. Switch the car off. Turn the key. Yeah, you know what it's on. So you're going to give a little bit of gas and try and move it off again. Clutch a little bit higher. Clutch a little bit higher. A little bit higher. A little bit higher. There's the bite. At that point, you've got to release it slow. A bit to the right. ease off the gas so we're gonna gently stop so you'll brake with your right foot and put your clutch in clutch in, clutch in. What yeah. there? you didn't put your clutch in okay. do you get it if you want to come to a full stop you need to brake a little and put your clutch in straight away do you mm -hmm. get that let's see if you can move off now let's see if you can move off. give it a little bit of gas don't rush the bike so once you get to the bike don't rush it there we go that's it ease off a bit to the left so we're going to gently stop. So you're going to brake a little bit with your right foot and put your clutch in with your left foot. There we go, how easy is that? Easy, isn't it? Let's see if you can do it now. I think you can do it yourself because you've just done it yourself. So let's see if you can do it without me talking you through. So move off when you're ready. And gently stop. Perfect. I come, yeah? Yeah, that was good. Light work, man. Yeah. Light work, light Let's work. Let's see light if you work. can do that again. Say no more, say no more, say no more. Clutch in. Wait, wait, Clutch in. Man. Yeah, that's it. Let's go, let's go, light work. That was good. The truth is, I knew I had to do it the whole time. I was, just, I was just... Gently I was stop. I just being humble. Yeah. <laughs> Gently stop. Yeah. I was just being humble. Yeah, definitely. I had to do it the whole time. <laughs> yeah, let's see if you can move off again. That was good. You did lift it a little bit quick, but it was fine. Yeah. Ease off. So we're gently gonna stop. Gently stop. 
Perfect. Light work. Yeah. Move off when you're ready. Let's see if you can do it again. Yeah. And gently stop. That was a bit. A bit. Yeah. Do you know why that happened? Because I didn't push the clutch down. Enough. Yeah, well done. At least you know the reason yeah. you get it. It's clutching. Yeah, let's see if you so can. So I got to get off again, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, following the bend to the right. It's a quiet area, though. I like it. It is, it is nice and Easy quiet. Easy Stick to the left. And gently stop. With your clutch in straight away. Yeah, once you brake a bit, put your clutch in straight away. Yeah, let's see if you can move off. Give a bit of gas. Of course I can, of course I can. That's a let's see. Light. Okay, say that, say that, say that. Okay, right. Maybe I can't, maybe I can't. <laughs> no, you will, you will able to. Put your clutch in, put your foot on the brake. I'm gonna reverse yeah. it. Put your foot on the brake. Brown buckler, yo, what? Yeah. Why is it going backwards? Because if you leave the clutch in and take your foot off the brake, it'll go backwards and it's a hill as well. Right. You get it? So what's going on now? But it's alright, switch the car off. Clutch it off. off. Yeah, switch it off. It only happened because you've not done it on a hill. The flat surface, you've done it fine. You get right. it? Switch the car on, back to the right, turn it to right, the key. Turn it to right again. So what you need to on remember on hills, you can't let go off the clutch. You need to be more slow from the biting point. You get it? That's why it only stalled. And on on hills, you give slightly more gas. Clutch a bit higher though. Yeah. And gently stop. And clutch in. That was good. Let's see if you can move off again. Remember, don't rush it. You get it? Once you get to the biting point, you relax. Push a bit higher. I got you. I got you. Push a bit higher. I got you. I got you. And relax, no relax. Do you get it? You're doing it all right. Leave the clutch to the biting point for about one or two seconds. Mm -hmm. Gently stop. It's a stop, yeah. Yeah. Clutching. Yeah, remember you need to put your clutch in straight away. Yeah, yeah, you get yeah. that? Let's see if you can move off. I can, man. I can't trust me. Trust me. I can't. Don't rush off the clutch. Don't rush this part. That was good. Ease Come off. Come on, man. Of course it was. Ease off. Ease off the gas. Yeah. I just want to drive. Yeah, a little bit of gas. And gently stop. Sorry. Remember to put your clutch in. Yeah, these are the basics. Yeah, it switches off because you're not putting your clutch in mm -hmm. straight away. Mm -hmm. These are the basics. If you get these good, everything else will become easy. It's like learning A, B, C, D, E, F. And then if someone doesn't know, like. It's a bit harder than A, B, C, though. So <laughs> it's not. Harder. Trust me, it's easy. You'll get it it's once Pythagoras. you get it. It's Pythagoras theorem right here. <laughs> no, once you get it, it becomes so easy. Do you get it? Let's see if you can move off. I know you can do it. Of course I can, Paul. Yes, my love. That was good, but try releasing the clutch a little bit slower from the bike, yeah. ease off the gas and gently stop. Clutching, that's fine. Yeah, let's see if you can do it again. Move off when you're ready, don't rush it from the bike. Yeah, now the car's yeah. fighting back. <laughs> I don't know what, I don't know what, I don't piss him off. Clutching, switch the car off, turn it off. Yeah. And try that again. Move off. Don't rush the clutch. Perfect. See if you don't rush it, you're fine. Ease off. Gently stop. Clutching. That was good. So yeah. we'll do one or two more. And I then found the braking bit easier than the, than the going off bit. It is, yeah. It's, but remember to put your clutch in when you fully so stop. Again, Straight yeah. away, you need to brake and put your clutch in. That was fine. Gently stop. A lot better than before. Move off when you're ready. Clutch in. Clutch in. And break. Don't release the clutch too quick. That was fine. Ease off and gently stop. Clutch in. That was good. Move off when you're ready. Let's see where that red car's going. Alright, it's giving us. Try not releasing it fast. Don't give too much gas. Yeah, a little bit of gas. Thank you. Ease off. And gently stop. Oh, I had to put straight away. Yeah, you need to put your I got to complacent. <laughs> Alright, let's... Got to gas. 
give it another ball. He's turning in it. Ease off. Try releasing it a bit slow from the bite. Do you know you can get as quick as you can to the bite, but from the bite you release slowly. Gently stop here, break a bit, clutch in. All right, I'm gonna make you do an exercise. It's like you're exercising gym. Do you get it? <laughs> so what you need to do is it's gonna obviously improve your biting point. So all I want you to do is, keep your foot on the brake one second, keep your foot on the brake. All I want you to do is, without giving any accelerator, without giving any gas, I want you to lift the clutch up to the bite. And once you've got to the bite, I want you to put the clutch back in. We're gonna do that 10 times. So I'll give you a little bit of an example of what I mean. Take your foot off the brake. Take your foot off. Lift the clutch up to the bite. Clutch a bit higher. Clutch a bit higher. Higher, 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 higher. There we go. That's the bite. That's the bite. Now put your clutch in. Do that again. Clutch up to the bite. Clutch up a bit higher, bit higher, bit higher. There's the bite. You I get know when the bite. Now put your clutch in. You can feel it. You'll feel it a little bit in your foot as well. And also, there's like a little bit of a judder. Do you get it? Also, you can tell by the car will stabilize. It'll stop rolling. Do you get that? So clutch up to the bite. Watch this. Clutch a little bit higher. The Clutch a little bit higher. A little bit higher. Clutch a bit higher, 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 higher. Clutch a little bit. Duh, there's a bite. Clutch in, try that again. Clutch up. Clutch up quickly, 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 quickly. Duh, that's fine. Clutch a little bit higher. Clutch a bit higher, 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 higher. Yeah, I'm just gonna make it stop here. Let these, this car go and gently stop. Clutch in and brake. What I want you to do is try avoiding it from rolling back that much. So we're going to well, get... Why is it rolling back so much? It's rolling back because you're putting your clutch back in. Do you get it? If the clutch's in, it'll roll back. Because remember, the clutch... Can you remember the biting point? That's when the bite... The biting point is... That's when the clutch starts to work. Do you understand? So if you don't get to the biting point, what's going to happen? It's just going to keep rolling back. Do you okay. understand? Yeah. Clutch so, a bit higher. Clutch a bit higher. There's a bite. Can you feel it? Not really. Clutch a bit higher. Clutch in. Clutch a bit higher to the bite. Clutch a bit higher. That point, do you get it? So once you get to the biting point, you just need to release it slowly. Do you want to give it one or two more goals? Let's go. Clutch in. Clutch back to the bite. Back to the bite. Back to the bite. Duh. Clutch in, back to the bite. Clutch a bit higher. Clutch in, clutch to the bite. Clutch in, clutch back to the bite. It's just like gym. It is. <laughs> clutch a bit higher. Clutch a bit higher, higher, higher. So it'll keep rolling back until you don't catch it to what? the biting point that's why sometimes on hill the car rolls back because we're not getting to the biting point quick enough you get that you're gonna try some move off some stops now let's, let's do one or two more and let's see how it goes bit of gas that was fine bit to right ease off the gas and gently stop with your clutch that was good move off when you're ready Very good. I knew you've got it somewhere. Come on, man. Of course I've got it. <laughs> Ease off. Take your time. So we're going to be taking the next road on the right. Keep driving, not this one. Now signal right. Ease off. A little bit to the left. A bit to the left. Ease off the gas. No accelerator. When you're going around bends and turns, you should not give gas because you'll end this up going... This one? Yeah. Because you'll end up going too fast and you lose control. Keep it going, bit to the right, bit to the right, bit to the right, and gently stop. So with your right foot, you'll break out and left foot, put your clutch in. Well done. Move off when you're ready. Ease off and gently stop. That was good. Move off when you're ready. Ease off bit to the right and gently stop. Yeah, move off when you're ready. 
bit to the left. We'll ease off. Signal right. Yeah. It's okay, Signal don't right. worry. Yeah, put your clutch in. Switch the car off. So do you know when you're coming to off? Yeah, the reason it's stalled is because you didn't put your clutch in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Switch it on. You turn it to the key to the right. Now so edge it forward. Clutch a little bit higher. Don't give too much gas. Turn it to the left, turn it to the left. To the left or the right? Left. And gently stop. All right, okay, one second. Why do you think I made you turn it to the left? Because you need to move back into your own side of the road because another vehicle should be able to fit on the right hand yeah. side. Yeah, so put your clutch in. So what you need to remember, look, so if you let go off the clutch too quickly here, what's going to happen to the car? It's going to crash into It's going to shoot forward, do you understand? So what you need to do, you're going to leave the clutch balanced to the biting point. So when you leave the clutch balanced to the biting point, the car's going to be crawling. And when the car's crawling and going very slow, you're going to have more time to what? Turn. Turn, do you get that? So let's see if we can, if we can do it. We're just going to get to the biting point. Lift the clutch a bit higher, a bit higher, a bit higher. Clutch a little bit higher. There. This point you're going to leave the clutch here. Do you get it? You're not going to release it. And then once you've made the turn, that's when you're going to gently lift the clutch up. Do you get that? Ease off. Ease off. Ease off the gas. And gently stop with your clutch in. That was good. Move off when you're ready. Ease off the gas and gently stop. All right, let's do one more move off and see how you do. Move off when you're ready. Ease off, ease off the gas. Yeah, keep it going. So we're just gonna pull up behind that silver car. Ease off, bit to the left, bit to the left. Steer it to the right, turn it to the right. Bring it here and gently stop. It's okay, don't worry. Yeah, move off when you're ready. We'll pull up behind the next car. So, yeah. That was good. Ease off, ease off the gas. Just behind that black car. Yeah. A little bit out, steer it out to the right. Clutch in, brake a bit with your clutch in. Clutch in fully straight away. Clutch in, clutch in, and stop. What are you undo? You want to? It's all right. <laughs> clutch in. Make sure you stop a little bit further behind because try not to block driveways. Oh, okay, man, yeah. You get that. Into neutral. Neutral. What's neutral? It's middle. So neutral is the middle. So this. No. The way you find out it's neutral. I is don't know how this thing stick works, man. It's <laughs> yeah. So the way you know it's neutral, it goes side to side. Do you get that? So whenever it's in gear, it won't go side to side. Mm. Do you get that? So it's this like goes this. side to side. So like this. It's neutral. Yeah. Yeah, that's neutral. Okay, take your foot off the gas. So what would you give yourself out of ten on moving off? On a scale. Off, I don't know. What would you give me? You you saying it, you tell me. I don't know. You're the big man here. Nah, you're the big man. No, you're the sensei. You're the sensei. <laughs> Alright, okay, go on, tell me. What what would you what would you just give it? Nah, I don't know. About know. approximately. Ten. Ten. Alright, that's a bit stretching it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> do you get it? So I'd say you're on about seven, do you get it? Um I can't move. Out you of what? Out of ten. Oh. Don't worry, it's not out of 100. You get it? So, 7 out of 10. Um, what, what you need to work on, I feel, is um, sometimes we let go off the clutch too quick from the bite. You get it? The good thing is, I've gave you 7 because number one, you can independently do it yourself. I don't have to talk you through it. You're stopping also. Out of 10, what would you give yourself? Stopping? My stop is pretty decent. Yeah, your stopping is fine. Eight, yeah, seven, because eight. sometimes you forget your clutch. Yeah. You get it? But you can do it independently yourself. So what I want to do, I'll move you on to the next step, which is changing gears. Have you ever changed gears? So, yeah, that's fine. Do, have you ever moved off and stopped before? No. Yeah, actually, yeah, I have. Okay, that's fine. So let's see how you do the second gear. I'm going to talk you through it. Do you understand? So let me ask you a question. Um, do you know when to change the gears no. from first to second? Mm. Okay, there's two ways you know when to change the gear from first to second. There's two ways um, you know when to change it. The first way is that the revs, um, what is it? Will Well, sorry, I'm going to give the first way. First way is what I don't recommend to learners. When you can hear the noise of the car very loud. Do you get that? That's the first way. I don't recommend that. The second way is you can match your revs to your gears. Do you understand? So once it hits 2,000 revs, it's time to what? 
Second gear. Second gear. When it hits 3,000 revs. Third. When it hits 4,000 revs. Fourth. 5,000 revs. Fifth. 6,000 revs. Sixth. 7,000 revs. There's no seven. 7,000 and you put it in reverse. I'm only joking. Yeah. <laughs> so every everyone gets on this, everyone messes up. So basically every gear is 2,000 revs. Do you get it? So every gear you change on what? 2,000 revs. So the third gear you'll change on 2,000 revs. The fourth gear you'll change on 2,000 revs. But uphill you change the gear slightly later. So when the revs go a little bit over 2,000, that's uphill. That's because by the time you change the gear uphill, what happens to your speed? It slows down. It drops. Do you get it? Because the hill's against you. Do you get that? So, um, what I'm going to be doing is, I'll talk you through the second gear, moving off, I'm not going to talk you through, because you can do that yourself, because I pass you the responsibility on for that, but the second gear, I'll talk you through it, so I'll put it in first without looking, second, without looking, do you mean without looking? Without looking at the gears, alright, okay, so the way you put it in first, look, you did it correct, you did do the first one right, you push it to the left and up, the way you put it in second, keep your hand pushed to the left and straight down. You get it? So put it in second, keep your hand pushed to the left, straight down. So into first. First gear. That's... Wait, it's okay. Yes. Second. First. Second. First. That's fine. So what we'll do is, um, you can do moving off and stopping yourself back into neutral. You can, you can lift the clutch up. So once it's in neutral, that's when you can lift the clutch up. But if you'd lifted the clutch up when it was in first gear, what would have happened to the car? It would have, it would have moved off, yeah. It would have moved off, but if you let go of it too quick, it would have stalled. Do you get that? But if the parking brake or the handbrake's on, it'd stall if you lift the clutch up in first. So what I'm going to do is, if you lift the clutch up all of a sudden now, what's going to happen? Where would you end up? In the back of that car. In that back of the car. So you're going to clutch control it out. What you're going to do is you're going to leave the clutch to uh, the biting Bang. point. If it goes a little bit too fast, put your clutch in a little bit and brake. You get that? So put your clutch in into first. Yeah. So give a little bit of gas. Clutch a little bit higher. Clutch a little bit higher. Clutch a little bit higher. Turn it to the right. Turn it more, 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 more. Come on. That's it. Well done. Now turn it to the left. Turn it to the left. Straighten it up, straighten the wheel up. Now you can gently lift the clutch up, but don't give too much gas. Ease off. So look, he's hit 2,000 revs, foot off the gas, clutch in, clutch in, clutch in. Clutch in. Yeah, clutch in. All right, okay, leave it. Give a bit of gas. So when you're changing gears, you don't accelerate. Do you get it? So whilst you're changing gears, you won't accelerate. A bit of gas, a bit more gas. Foot off the gas, clutch in, clutch in. Yeah, try following. Is it in? Yeah, you need to follow. I'm telling you to what do. You mean? My clutch is in. It's not in. Oh. Yeah, that's in. Oh. Do you get it? So clutch up. Clutch up. Clutch up. Let me see if you can do it. Give a bit of gas. Accelerate. Accelerate more. Accelerate more. Foot off the gas. Clutch in. Into second. Lift the clutch up gently. Clutch up. Clutch up. Yeah. It's alright. It's stalled because the speed drop. We need to do it a little bit quicker. Do you get it? Because if you clutch in uphill, it's going to keep reducing the speed. Accelerate a bit. Foot off the gas. Clutch in. Clutch in. Into second. Lift the clutch up. Clutch up fully. And there we go. Ease off the gas. Ease off. Ease off. Do you get that? It's not difficult, is it? Yeah, accelerate a bit. Stick to the left a bit. Following the bend to the right. We live around here. Yeah. And how far? It's about three, four minutes away. Oh, wow. It's Chorley Small, yeah? Chorley's the biggest town in the uh, UK. I swear to I'm only joking. I knew you were coming. <laughs> so we're gently going to stop. So brake a bit and put your clutch in. Clutch in fully. Yeah. So you can even stop in second gear. All you gotta do is brake and put your what in? Clutch. Clutch. But when you're moving off now, what gear are you gonna select? Fifth. Yeah. So let's move off. That was good. Now take your foot off the gas, clutch in, into second, lift the clutch up. That's it, well done. 
ease off and gently stop with your clutching. My bad, I hurt you, innit? <laughs> no, I'm alright, man. I'll clean whiplash off. <laughs> yeah, what gear are you gonna put it in? First. Yeah, move off when you're ready. What's up? Brother, this car got a hiccup. <laughs> clutching. What just happened? <laughs> Switch the car on. Switch it back on. Yeah, so what you need to do is you're letting go off the clutch too quick. Yeah, my bad. Yeah, yeah let's give it another go. A little bit yeah. quick, that bit to the right, ease off, bit of gas, accelerate a bit, bit more gas, accelerate a bit, bit more gas, foot off the gas, clutch in, into second, lift the clutch up fully, come on quickly, quickly, that's fine, that was good. So the reason I said lift the clutch up fully, as soon as you change gears, gently lift the clutch up, don't leave it in, ease off, bit to the left, keep going, keep going, keep going, so we're gently going to stop, brake a bit and clutch in. That was a bit... It's a little bit dodgy, bit that. Bumpy, yeah. Do you know why that happened? Because I didn't put it in straight away. Yeah, you need to put your clutch in. Yeah, yeah what gear are you going to move off in? Yeah, move off when you're ready. Clutch in. Clutch a bit higher. Yeah, keep your foot on the brake. Let's see if you can move off or not. There we are. Ease off the gas. Ease off, ease off. Signal right. Ease off. And gently stop. Again. Bloody hell. <laughs> Your clutch, remember to put your clutch in, it's okay, yeah. move off when you're ready. Easy, do you want me to remind you next time, what do you reckon you remember? Uh, I need to remind you. Ease stop. off, turning right, signal right, ease off, no gas, a little bit out to the right. Clutch in, remember to put your clutch in, clutch in. Clutch in? Yeah. Then yeah. brake a bit, brake, brake, brake. Because when you come end of the road, you have to look well. Right, left, right. Because who has priority here? Them. Then why do they think? We, why do they? Why do they have priority? Because it's on the line. They're going the straight ahead. Oh, yeah. So whoever's going straight ahead always has priority unless oh. there's a giveaway sign. Yeah. Yet we can move off towards the right. Ease off the gas. Ease off of it. Straighten it up. Yeah, foot off the gas. Clutch in. Into second. Clutch up. That was good. Take your time. And gently stop. Blimey. Move off when you're ready. <laughs> <laughs> what gear are you going to put it in? Remember, you always set off in first. Yeah. We need a heart transplant after this <laughs> lesson. Clutch me. <laughs> Foot off the gas. Clutch in. Into second, clutch in, into second, lift the clutch up. So, take your time. I hate manual, I can't lie, it's too hard. You'll be fine with manual. It's practice, at the beginning it's difficult. Ease off, gently stop, clutch in. That was good. See, you are getting the hang of it. It's just practice. Move off when you're ready. What gear are you going to move off in? What happens if I don't move off from first? It'll end up stalling. Because which is the most powerful gear? The first one. Where is it? Foot off the gas, clutching into second. Clutch up. Why do you think it's the most powerful? Because it makes the car move off and it requires the most power. Sixth gear is the least powerful but with the most speed. Ease off, take your time. Gently stop. Clutch in fully. Well done. Move off when you're ready. Try second gear. Put it in second. Yeah, I was gonna wait till I turn it. No, no, go for it. Go for it. Oh, yeah. Do you know what? That was actually good. Ease off. Ease off. 
keep it going. Following the bend to the right. To the right, yeah. Yeah. Ease off. So what do you do like at the moment? Meaning, um, do you go uni or anything? Yeah, I go uni. I go uni on the side. What are you studying? Uh, biomedical science. Oh, did, you, did, you, did you do any education? Did I do any education? Yeah. No man, it's not for me. Top one, break, clutching. And are you clutching, done? You're... Put your clutching. Oh, yeah. yeah, roll it in first, put it in first. Why? First gear, I'll tell you why. Lift the clutch up. So that was very good. Turn it. So when your speed drops under eight, you need to put it in which gear? Under eight? Under eight, you need oh, to put okay. it in first gear. Ease off. Ease off. You've done that very smooth. So when it drops under eight mile per hour, you need to put it in first gear. You get that little bit out to the right, ease off, turning right, signal right, top one, a little bit out to the right, a bit to the right, clutching, clutching, a little bit close. So look, wait, gently stop. Do you know this junction is restricted? Your view is restricted. This this kind of a junction you call it you call it a closed junction. A closed junction is where your view is restricted to the right and left. Here you gotta edge it out, creep and peep for a better view. Edge it forward, clutch in and stop. Do you get it? But if you lift the clutch up too quick, the car's gonna shoot forward and if you wanna stop, you'll have to slam the brakes. You just need to get it to the biting point. Clutch up to the bite and turn it. Bit of gas, foot off the gas, clutching into second, clutch up. Yeah. So I'm going to show you how to roll it in first gear. So the way you put it in first gear is now what you're going to do is you'll brake a bit with your right foot. So brake a bit, put your clutch in, bring our speed under eight with your clutch in and into first. First gear, that's neutral. That's third. That's first, yeah. Gently lift the clutch up. Yeah, do you get that? So you gotta drop your speed under eight, then you can put it in first gear. Yeah, okay. Let's see if you can put it in second, into second. Take your foot off the gas, take your foot off the gas. So remember, when changing gears, you don't want Accelerate. Accelerate. You get that? So whenever you change, whenever the, that clutch is going in and out, you shouldn't be accelerating when changing gears. Ease off. Following the bend to the right. Have you got a busy day ahead? No, not today. Just chilling out. Yeah, Following the bend to the right. Ease off, stick to the left. That was a good turn. So we're just going to work on a little bit on right turns. So obviously, if the turn is sharp, that, that sharp, that you know you're going to have to put it under eight mile per hour, then you need to slow down with your clutching. And then once your speed drops under eight, you'll put it in which gear? First. First. You tired? Yeah. You did have a long journey though. I know. Rough that one. Ease off. Turning right, signal right. Let's turn right at this junction. Ease off, brake a bit, clutch in, roll it in first. And make it turn. Clutch it behind. Ease off, ease off the gas. Try not giving gas when well, yeah, yeah, you clutch it, in and out. It's alright, obviously, once you keep practicing, then you'll remember. So at the end of the road, we're going to be turning right in the top one. I've not explained to you about the MSM routine yet. Signal right, bit to the right. Signal right, ease off. Clutch in. Oh, that was very good. Gently lift the clutch up. Bit of gas. 
bit more gas before off the gas clutch. Do you reckon you're understanding it a little bit more? Yeah, no, 100%. If you have any questions, if you don't understand anything, ask yeah. me. Yeah. So we're gently going to stop. A little bit to the left. A bit to the right. That was fine. Try steering with both hands. To that one. Yeah, clutch in. Yeah, into first. Yeah, move off when you're ready. That was a 9 out of 10. Ease off. I've knocked one off because he gave a little bit of gas whilst lifting that clutch up. But within that, could have pulled it. Keep it going. So we'll pull up on the left, signal left. Brake a bit. Clutch in. Remember to put your clutch in. Into first. Yeah, put it in first, so take it a little bit forward. So what you don't want to be doing is, one second, watch this. What you don't want to be doing is, if you lift the clutch up fully, you're going to be going too far quick. We only need to travel a little bit of distance. Because of that, you're just going to leave the clutch well to the biting point. So just here, that's fine. Turn it to right. Don't lift the clutch higher. Don't give gas. Don't give gas. Don't give gas. A little bit to right. That's fine. Yeah, move off when you're ready. Put your clutch in. Yeah, move off when you're ready. Yeah, remember when lifting the clutch up, try not giving gas. Ease up, yeah. Following the bend to the right. I shouldn't put my foot on the accelerator when I'm lifting up the clutch. Yeah, yeah. Swear so, down. Yeah. Just when you're moving off from a standstill point, that's when you give a bit of gas oh, whilst okay. lifting the clutch up. If I'm but changing when, gear when You don't give gas. Okay. Do you get that? Yeah. Have you ever took manual lessons? Briefly. Did you not enjoy them? I don't like manual, man. Too much to remember. Bit to the left and gently stop. Make sure your clutch is fully in. That's fine. Move off when you're ready. What gear are you going to move off? Yeah. What's going clutch on? in. It's alright, don't worry. Put your clutch in. I'll help you. Give a bit of gas. Lift the clutch up a bit. Lift the clutch up. The, this point, that biting point, you're letting go of it, ease up. Okay, you're going to put it now. But don't give gas. Bring it a little bit up. Yeah, so we'll pull up on the left hand side. Signal left. Bit to the left. Clutching. What happened there? That's a good end. <laughs> what happened there? You didn't put your what in. Clutch. Clutch. Do you get it? Remember when you come into a full stop, what do you need to do? Clutching. Clutching. Into neutral. Yeah. So that's the end of the lesson. How do you feel you're done? Decent still. I learned a lot. Yeah. I think you've done well. Number one, we'll go over what we learned. Yeah. The first thing was um, moving off and stopping. Do you get it? You learn how to move off and stop. Which is a good sign, obviously you can't do it independently yourself, yeah. do you get it? So you're moving off and stopping is fine. Um, also, um, your changing from first to second gear was okay, wasn't too bad, do you get that? So, what you need to work on, sometimes we do forget to put our clutch in when we stop. Also, when you're moving off, there you only stalled, I'll be straight up, is because there's cars behind. And when there's cars behind, what do learners do? They rush it, do you get it? But most likely you wouldn't have stalled if there was no cars around. But when there's cars behind, don't rush lifting the clutch up. Um, also, um, your um, what is it? Uh, your biting point. You've understood a little bit more about biting point. What do you feel? Yeah, and the biting point is there for the heart, though. There for the hardest part to understand. Yeah. But do you understand it now? Yeah, therefore. Yeah. So what we could do next lesson is. Um, 
what we've done is obviously I made you do right turn this lesson as well. I didn't go over the MSM routine. Have you heard of the MSM routine? Lira. Signal and maneuver. Yeah. And then the maneuver is split in three position speed look. So the maneuver is split in three position speed what and position, looking. What position? Position is on road, isn't it? <laughs> and also then speed and looking. Do you get it? It's split in three. So what we'll do next lesson is I made you do right turns. The goal of next lesson is that you can do right turns yourself. Is that okay? Yeah. So next lesson we'll just go over right turns mainly and improve on them. Yeah. So if this video has benefited you, make sure you hit that like button and make sure you subscribe. See you guys in the next video.